Not everything in this project has been sunshine and smiles. This is one of the worst. LP Toys leg three-legged saucer. Usually seen in the wheeled version. These are somewhat hard to find. Uh, this one has kind of an odd sag in the back where it looked like it got too close to a space heater. But I haven't shown it before because within 15 minutes of opening it last May 2019, I tried to swat a bug hovering around the lamp in the Utica apartment. And this happened to be in the proximity and the edge of my hand caught it and it went sailing across the room to careen into a door. And I'm not sure if the dome got cracked, but that front leg snapped off. I've literally, em I emptied the, the room, I took up the carpet, I moved all the furniture in the next room, and there's still no sign of it. I've been looking for it for over a year. <laughs> Bummer. So the only thing to do is to get another. <laughs> But there we go. LP Toys. Three leg saucer. These are made in Hong Kong along the bottom rim. A chromed operator in front of a control console that now I'm looking at it, it actually reminds me of the space tank by Marx. I'm sure it's you know, completely unrelated. The resemblance is striking, but the LP saucer is probably older than the Marx tank. And along with it, we have one of their mercury capsules. As these examples show, Ash, can you see this? They were sold with, with a wheel, chromed operator, and by looking at the nose cone, and not finding an obvious made in Hong Kong mark, this is one of the originals. Whereas these two here, Later, copies made, amongst other things, for cake decorations will have the Hong Kong. Yeah, I had it right the first time. Right there on the nose. And the pilot figure will be white. The originals. And their operators are usually chromed. I think some of them may be white as well. And the red engine nacelle or whatever it's called, the exhaust propulsion units, it being cast in red, it lends more credence to both of those being vintage pieces. Ash, can you see this? You can see how the uh, the wheel axle hub there is, is I, I'm gonna say closed, where on this one it's open, and you can just peg the thing into place. Those two had to be fitted in, in, in place by a wheel that, that had at least two pieces to it, like like this here. I think this one is from an Apollo Moon Exploring set. And you can see again how the, the wheel hubs are closed where these are open. All right, so here we go. Is it an array of what I call checker rockets? And here's another checkers rocket small size although as you can maybe see here between those four examples there's actually two variants of them a little smaller one has the rounded tips to its base those are a little bit more pointed and the angle angular relation of the, the top jet thing has changed uh, to it I am fairly certain that all of the white nose cone rockets were made at the Lickby Plastic and Metals factory in the 1960s. And the lot 
group also came with these excellent small size LP Toys Spaceman figures. Check the bottom, properly marked. Check the bottom, properly marked. Check the bottom, properly marked. In case you're wondering, and to my astonishment, these figures are even smaller than the gilded golden astronauts that LP Toys made for that toy line. Size difference is even more easy to discern in the image of them lying down. The one all the way to the right is from one of those blue shield type Apollo capsule sets. It is a copy. You can sort of see there how the sculpting is much different than the uh, LP Toys figures. My best estimation would be that this nice little pile of space bling would have probably come in something like this uh, space exploring set. Ash, can you see this? Well, that I got a while ago. There's a video showing its contents amongst my other uploads. This one came uh, just with the Major Matt Mason crawler, three figures in the checkers rocket, so maybe we're not... Uh, maybe it would have been a, a larger size box to contain that much stuff, but from, from what I've concluded by looking at it, that's probably the source of what we're seeing here. It's an unboxed LP Toys Space Bling kit with two vehicles, a checker rocket, and three probably 35 millimeter sized hand-painted LP Toys factory-made spacemen. And I'm stoked! I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, treat it like glass. I, uh, I'm going to try to find maybe, maybe it'll fit in a gumball glove. To figure out some way to protect that. And as far as this one goes here, I have collected this bag of oddments that I thought I'd try to maybe fashion a uh, landing leg from skeleton key in there or something. And maybe try to effect a repair, although it works for me like this, just looking at it. And again, this is something that could end up now in, in a piece of space art because it is somewhat compromised. And I'm sure you'll see it all happen here.